Americans living on the west coast of the United States were subject to detention because they were Japanese American. They were rounded up and detained as prisoners in internment camps. After our government made the decision to do that, a 19-year-old man from Hawaii named Shinye Matayoshi, his friends called him Rocky, Rocky Matayoshi enlisted in the military, in the U.S. military, in the hopes that his service might help secure his father's release from an internment camp. It did not work. His father would remain locked up in an internment camp until two months after Japan surrendered. Before he was shipped off to fight in Europe, Private Matayoshi visited his dad at the internment camp that he was in in New Mexico. While he was there, his father told him, the United States considered me the enemy, but you're an American. Promise me that you will make America proud of you. Private Matayoshi fought in Europe. He fought as part of a legendary Japanese-American combat team. That was the combat team, the 442nd, that was sent in to rescue the U.S. Army's Lost Battalion. The Lost Battalion was a battalion surrounded by Nazi forces behind enemy lines in the forests of northeastern France. In that fight, under heavy fire, Rocky Matayoshi individually, individually stormed five machine gun nests. He was a 20-year-old platoon sergeant. He is credited with almost single-handedly securing the route that allowed the so-called Lost Battalion to get to safety. For his actions, he earned a Purple Heart and a Bronze Star and two Silver Stars. What happens next in the Rocky Matayoshi story is the best new thing in the world today. 66 years after that battle, you could say 66 years late, but not too late. 87-year-old Rocky Matayoshi was awarded the second highest medal for valor that the United States military gives, the Distinguished Service Cross. And the sight of 87-year-old Sergeant Matayoshi beaming, clearly moved and telling the assembled crowd that he does not consider himself a hero and he never has while he receives that award for his heroism at the age of 87. These images from the Pentagon. To my mind, these are the best new thing in the world today.